and welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be talking about how to append two data sets. So this can be seen as a follow-up video on my merging data set where you had different data sets you wish to merge together. Suppose you have a data set and you add a few extra variables to it. Here you should more see the case where you're collecting the same information at multiple points in time. Suppose you are surveying a group of people first year, then the second year and so forth or you just have the same data set acquired on different points in time from different sources or so. And even, this is important, it doesn't have to exactly match in the variables because what Starter will do when you append now is that of course it just replace with missing values, but we're gonna be seeing how this works in just a moment. Today, we're gonna to be using the auto data set found in Starter just as usual too. You can also do it for yourself at home and the command is simply called append. But to illustrate how this actually works, First, let's load in the automobile data set and do some alterations to it first. So we will simply start with sysuseauto.clear or comma clear, of course, to clear out anything. And maybe we actually don't need a clear command because I put it up here up front. So running this here, we now have the automobile data set loaded into Stata. We will sort it by make just to make sure it comes in the same order. We're going to be doing the same with the data set. We're going to append onto this because this will be acting as our main data set. We're going to generate an ID variable, just like we did in the merge video. So you can always go back and check how this works or check the gen video to see how gen actually works. So we generate an ID variable, which is equal just to underscore n, giving the numbers one up until the number of variables or sorry, observations in the data set, which is 74 in this case simply because I used the automobile data set so many times already, right? We're also going to be generating a year variable, which we just call year equal to one. That means by generating these two, we now have two variables. One is the ID number from one to 74, and one is simply just year. So what we can do here, I want to put the ID first and then the year right after. So we can simply just use the command order and we can put year comma first. So this will come first in the data set and we can order the ID variable to be right after, uh, sorry, the order year to be first. Sure, we can actually do ID first and maybe even better and put year right after ID. So now when we order the data set like this, let's just run the whole thing again. We would then see the data set now and we can see indeed ID comes first followed by year. Now, when I want to append now, I'm going to act as if we have these automobile data set from a second point in time, we're going to be doing it for say year two. And there's going to be two with ID one, two with ID two. So you should imagine we're merging adds extra columns. Here with append, we add extra rows simply. That's the way you should be seeing this here. So carrying on, now we actually have the first data set ready that we can append with. So we're going to call it just auto one underscore ready, say, and then replace if it already existed. OK, that's the first data set. Now, in Stata, there's also an auto two data set we can use. So let's actually use that one and add that into or append that onto the original automobile data set. We, of course, have to use clear here because now there is already some data in our Stata. So we're going to sort it from make to make sure it's the same. We're again going to generate an ID variable for this one. And here we also generate a year, but this time we just put a two. So you can see what happens when we append the data set. Now we're almost ready. We're just going to do exactly the same as before. I could just copy even more, but here we order it the same way. But now we also, in this case here, just, well, we're going to go back to the first data set. And now you can see what happens when you append. So this here, if we save here, auto two underscore ready, also comma replace, there you go. We then run this part of the data set here. There we go. And now we can go back to our first data set. So we go back to sysuse, auto one ready, comma clear, because now we have to clear out. So now we're back in the data set that we already prepared. And now we can use the append command in Stata, which is simply just append using and whichever name we gave to the data set we want to append onto this data. So we call it auto two ready. And of course, there's nothing else we actually need to do at this point. What we can do after we append it is sort ID and year. 
such that we can see how this actually lines up. And then of course, finally, we can save this auto and say, well, new, comma, replace. Let's try and run all these commands, okay? First of all, we need to be able to spell. Let's try that. Spelling is a part of the game as well, guys. So if you spell wrong, fix it. But hopefully Tesla will tell you like this. So now we actually append the two data sets onto each other. Let's take a look. Notice here, you see ID appear twice with year one and two. And of course we could just append more on if you have from a third year, fourth year, fifth year, and so on. And now of course we should also have double the amount of data points, which is 148. So you see here, it actually just adds up nicely this way. And remember what I said, suppose that in the first year you have from rep 78, but the second one will be missing. It would still append onto, or even if this variable didn't exist in the second wave, it would just depend onto as an, well, missing variable. So that's how Stata would treat this append here. So this is a very nice thing when you have a data collection going on, or you're appending from different years already from data you already have on your hands. So with that said, this here concludes today's video about appending. I hope you liked it, and let me know if you have any other suggestions for future videos. My name is Stefan Eriksson, and until next time. Thank <laughs> you.